Hey guys, thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. This is Breaking Burke. It is about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And my name is Albert. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my painted lady philodendron. Now, with a lot of these philodendrons, when they are smaller specimens, they aren't too flashy. The colors aren't really all that great when they're small. But as they grow, that's when they start to shine and really show their true colors. You can see as this starts to get bigger, there's a lot more uh, variation in the color. I'm going up the length of the plant here. This one is when it really started to get pretty. And then these are my latest leaves. This one here. There's this one that's just stunning. And this one that still hasn't hardened off yet, it's still kind of yellowish, but you can see it's going to be very beautiful. Uh, I was initially going to buy just a cutting of this plant. The guy who I was getting it from uh, thought he'd have more interest in it and didn't, so he offered me the whole plant. It was, I'd say, probably down to here when I got it. So it has grown considerably and I've struggled on whether I'm going to cut it or not but if we look at the bottom it is kind of leggy you can tell this is one of the uh, first leaves after it was cut last time they do sometimes put out a little funky weird shaped leaf but the reason I'm going to propagate this today is because I mean a like I said the bottom is kind of weird looking this pole isn't providing much support. You can see it uh, leans over quite a bit. And the plant itself isn't even growing into or towards the pole. So rather than tying it to it and it not really serving a purpose anyway, uh, I think I'm just going to propagate it. It does only have like six inches to the top of the pole anyway. So if I were to leave it, we'd be having to fix it soon. This is a philodendron and it roots easily in water, so that's how I'm going to propagate. I think what I'm going to do is start with the top. Nice and swift cut there. You can see these are fresh aerial roots, and since this here is the active growth part, uh, this will probably not skip a beat. Just stick it in the water and that's about it. Now I'm going to work my way down the plant itself. On these lower leaves I'm going to try and see if I can take off as much of the leaf sheath as possible. If you leave that, which you could, uh, sometimes it's fine, sometimes they rot. There's another single leaf node propagation. But you pretty much get the point. I'm just going to do this all the way down. what I'm doing right there but now this guy's a little trickier I could go through here and try and separate it but since the two leaves are so close the inner node spacing right there is virtually non-existent I could risk losing both of them if I try and cut it so I think I'm just gonna leave it like that for now I'll stick it in water now since this is uh, technically a philodendron iridescens because it does have the pink color blushing uh it will probably grow like a filled uh pink princess it'll come out from over here in the crotch between the petiole the stalk that holds up the leaf and the main stalk is where your new growth point will originate so it'll be somewhere in here so you really do want to make sure you keep that leaf on uh it does provide extra nutrition well the cutting is working on roots because it can still photosynthesize. And you can see these all do have some nice aerial roots. So I think they'll do fine. They should uh, start growing here pretty quick. And you see I have a little bit more to do. But I will show you in an update video, uh, probably in a couple weeks, what kind of progress we have here. And who knows, 
Maybe this will be one of the first giveaway plants. Uh, I do plan on starting that up here in a few weeks or a couple weeks because it should be warm enough to start setting some plants out uh, here within the United States. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.